good day scratch friends i am back with part three of our zoom game that is built for scratch 3.0 as usual once you get to scratch choose the my stuff option when you enter my stuff find your zoom v3 remember if you have an extra one that's because you made a copy where you want to play with your own stuff but we always want to keep our zoom v3 the same as mine so that the next level works the way it should quick refresher if we hit the green flag we can drive using the arrow keys and then if you bump the yellow it says try again and it takes you back to zero today the cool addition we are going to do is we're going to have an end of the maze where when you get there it'll say something like you win and play a sound to do that we need to first get a sprite so click choose a sprite let's all stay the same for this part and type earth and then bring it in Put your earth over at the end. Let's make it a little smaller by typing 80 for the percentage of its size. And then the magic code is this easy. We want it when the game begins, which remember that is when we send out start. We want it when it receives start to have its own loop. And we want it to always check to see if the spaceship made it to the earth. So we're going to do an if command, and we want to know if the spaceship is touching the Earth. So simply grab the touching mouse pointer and drop it in the box and change it so it has the rocket ship selected. So when start happens, if it touches the rocket ship, we need to make it shoot a message where it says you win. So I'm going to do where it says say hello. I'm going to put you win. And then it'll pause for a couple seconds. And then let's make it play a sound. Now it's important at this next part that you set your volumes low because this could get you in trouble in class because you could make a disturbance. But when you click the sounds, click this little choose sound, but then don't touch any sounds because they auto play. So I've got the volume on my computer quite low and you can see that when I touch them, they play. And that's fine if you keep it quiet, but if you have it too loud, then it'd be a problem. Let's go to voice. And I want a cheer. So I'm going to choose this one for when people win. So now I've got two sounds loaded. And when I go back to the code, I can make, make it so it plays the cheer. And then we just need to return our ship to home, which is really cool by just broadcasting the start message. If we do that, boom, the ship will go all the way back. Let's test it. Ship's driving. See if I can finally make this corner without hitting it. And boom, we make it to the end. There's my U win for two seconds. The crowd cheer. And the ship returns to home, just like that. And it says you win. Congratulations, you have just made a game with a beginning, a course, and an end. In lesson four, we're actually going to turn it into a two-level game, and hopefully I give you enough skills that you can make as many levels as you want. Remember, when you're done with this, click Save Now. If you go back to your folder where your stuff is, and you want to play with another one, choose the C inside and then choose file and do save as a copy and then you can play with the crazy copy one as much as you want and that way when you return to the playlist to continue this lesson you'll have the original and you'll have your fun one where you're exploring at your own pace Friends, I hope you're having a blast with this cute little lesson. It is super quick, super fast, and gives you some skills that you can use in a lot of different places. If you enjoyed the movie, please hammer that like button. If you've got a question or a comment, please add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from HL Mod Tech, hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.